Hello, everybody. This is Don. I drove up this morning from Savannah. Um, it took me about eight hours to get here. It's a long drive. I'm at Balsam Mountain in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. It's a lot shorter to go up 26 and 40 through Asheville, but the traffic the other day when we came back from Pigeon Forest was so horrible it took us nine hours. The traffic was nothing today, real easy and easy driving. I'd rather spend eight easy hours and seven real hard hours. Anyway, I'm up here. I hiked a little nature trail and hiked the road a little bit to kind of get my legs limbered up. This is my tent, my tent peg. This is my campground setup. That's I cook under that if it's raining. Then my pickup truck. Nice little campground. This is Balsam Mountain Campground. Very nice. It's a funny thing. We're all having to play musical chairs this morning. A lot of people was like me, didn't realize till later they only got one campsite and I wanted two. So when I came back to get it two nights here, somebody else had done got mine. Now somebody's having to move to a different campsite this morning who's in mine and I got to move to theirs. I'm starting my first tra trail of uh, my trip. I think this is called Balsam Mountain Trail. I'm not sure. But it's a well used trail and easy to follow. Very pretty up here. Temperature probably about 70 degrees. Feels good. I don't have a long trip to hike today. I'm going to take it easy and just ease along and enjoy myself and enjoy being out in nature. Well, I'm here at my 3.5 mile marker where I turn, plan on turning around, but my app says I've hiked 3.7 miles. But my legs is already burned out and I still got to hike out of this hole. Unfortunately, I've been going down the whole way. Now I got to go back up. Woo, that don't sound good, but I ain't going to stop right now. I'm going to go back up a little ways before I take a break. I, I got about eight hours before dark, so I'll be good. Well, I finally made it back to my car. I hiked seven miles. Woo, that's a long way for me. My legs are toast. I don't know why I keep pushing myself like I do, but I do. I'm on, but I've got plenty of time. It's almost four o'clock, and I'm going to head back to my campsite. I survived another one. Well, today is day three. I'm leaving my campground here. It's, um, <clears throat> I forgot what the name of it was. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to Smokemont. I'm going to take a trail, a driving trail, through the mountains to get back to Smokemont. And I'll take some videos along the way. Um, maybe you'll enjoy it. Hey, Tinsley, thanks for watching. And everybody else out there who watches. Well, I'm starting my hiking trail, my driving trail. This is the driving trail right here. Looks really nice, that's the trail. I'm gonna be in the woods all the way. I'm gonna lower both my windows, get my camera ready, and hopefully I can see some wildlife. If not, I'll see some scenery. tell but that is a nice drop off Woo! don't want to run off of that you up here in the top of the trees 
Got some mountain views in the back. Very pretty. Wish you was here to see it. I can see the mountains out in the distance. I doubt that you'll be able to, but you never know. Most of you just going to see the trees because it's focused on the trees, but I imagine during the winter this would be a beautiful view. But we're still in the cloud a little bit. We got some fog up here. We call fog. Well, if you was down on the ground looking up, you'd think it was just a cloud. No rain in it, but very pretty up here. It's going to take me about two hours to drive across just letting the truck idle along. a nice view. I think we can get a better view over here, maybe. A little trail that way. Nice little creek. I'm hiking to a place called Mingo Falls. Must be a hundred people ain't headed up this way. Nice little waterfall. Looks up pretty high. Well, this is my campsite at Smokemont. I'm right at the bathroom, which is nice. A few other campers around. It's not as crowded as I thought it was going to be. I kind of like this campground. Well, I finally made it to the trailhead. I fixed to start my hike. I'm crossing this little creek. I don't know what it's called, but I'm just now leaving Smokemont Cameron. Well, right now I'm hiking up an old road bed long and beautiful creek though I don't know if you can see it or hear it but maybe you can very pretty here's my sign smoke mont loop trail right here I knew it wasn't gonna stay flat very long we headed up I hope it don't be real, real steep all of a sudden, but I think it will be. I'm just going to take my time and get to the top. That's all I can do. Well, I'm hiking up away from the creek. Coming into this little covered area. Hope I don't see a bear coming down the trail. Booger, booger. Oh, it's scary in here. Well, I'm taking me a water break. Here at this little stream, it ain't much of a stream, but if I was desperate for water, I would get it here. But I'm not. I got plenty of water. Toting two quart, two liters. I'm just stopped to bed uh, about a mile, I imagine. And I've climbed most of my elevate, a lot of my elevation game. I still got some more to do, but I'm doing real good as far as that goes. And just spread it through here. Very pretty. I'm still going up. Well, I don't want to do that again. 
I dropped my camera and it rolled down that hill. So I climbed down there to see if I could get it. Woo! I finally found it. The Lord must have helped me. I'm pretty sure this is the crest of the hill. I've got some decent views, but you can't see them with the camera because there's too many leaves. But I can see the mountains on the other side. Some of them are a little bit taller than this one, but this one's pretty high. I'm pretty sure I hiked about, up about a thousand feet. I'm two and a half miles into my hike. Then I'm gonna start hiking down the rest of the way so maybe it won't be too bad. I'm gonna stop and eat me a snack and some lunch and drink some water and take a long break. Well, I'm about 4.2 miles into my trip. I've been heading downhill for the last couple of miles, or last mile and a half. I've got about two more miles to go. Thought I'd take a break. I'm real close to some streams, as you can hear in the background, but I'm not sure if I'm going to cross them or not. So I found this log to sit on. This is a nice little stream crossing. Got us a little log to walk on. It looks substantial enough. People have been crossing it, I guess. I guess it'll be alright till it ain't. <laughs> ah, I made it. It's a beautiful little stream. A deep hole here. You get to that. take a little swim in. Probably two feet deep. I want you to look at this bridge. Now, this is something else. It's a big old log on some rocks. I hope it's substantial. I'm gonna try to cross it and see what happens. It's about, a, I doubt that it's a foot wide. I think I'm gonna put my camera up. I survived. Now that was a little hair raising. I have to tell you the truth. It looks like it's about to fall over, but I guess it's not. But you got about a 10-foot fall onto those rocks if you slip. Well, my app said I hiked 6.7 miles. I think I went a little over a thousand foot elevation gain. I don't think that other thing was right. I think it was misleading. But anyway, I have made it back to my campground. One's safe and sound, and I've still got my camera, which is amazing.